Hey Greg, hey Nicholas. Uh, I'm gonna be rushing this one today. I've got my time mixed up and thought I had more than I had, but instead of being a nice leisurely hour and a half or so, holy crap, this thing's a complete disaster. Um, I've got half an hour, so yeah, nothing like a bit of drive. And naturally, I've left my plastic spudger somewhere. Oh well. Hey, RTC Extreme, doing all right. And naturally, the plastic rubs off. Yeah, this one seems some better days. All right, what do I need? I need my plastic spudger. Better go find it. Ah, oh, g'day Leslie. It's been a while since I've seen you. Uh, this battery is totally cactus anyway, but I knew that as soon as the person showed me the phone, I could see it bulging. Oh, we've got a free screw on the underside, and that looks like a... Mm, it's 1.6 or 1.7 or something. Where will that belong to? This is going to be fun. The mystery of random screws. Just what I need to slow things down. I don't think it's that one. I'll have a check. Pretty sure that it's not. Oh, it is that one. Okay. It's been a while since I've done an iPhone 4. So my muscle memory is going to be a little bit bit weak. Oh man. Jeez, I tried some... Well, we've got another free screw here. Frick me. Put that into the... I don't know where it belongs list. Look at this. The person's tried to remove that SIM tray. You can see it's just, they've tried levering it out from the corners rather than popping it out like they should. Crazy. Alright. Looks like a new SIM too. And the 1.4 is missing naturally. That thing never lasts. 2.3. Six, four point eight. Oh, there we go. Oh no, the hands are shaking. I haven't had a chance to have breakfast yet because I was too busy watching Chris Long's stream, and then I had coffee, and then I had visitors. And now I've got this job. Ah, uh, well, they'll teach me. Out you come. What's going on? Why don't you want to come out? What the? What's going on there? Is that stuck? Oh dear, let's have a look. Just finished, Jason missed, yes, had fun day recording. Poor, oh yeah, I saw his full battery failure one, yeah. <laughs> Backing up a dead hard drive for a friend's PC. Device is dying, MFT is corrupt, yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Not been online for a while, been helping dad rewire the house. Okay, you guys have got 230 volts or 110 there? Pretty sure you guys have got 230. Itchy nose, naturally. Uh, let's see. 100 degrees should be enough to soften up the glue on the back. There we go. I knew it wasn't a really tight bond or anything. It was just a 
the uh, compression pads tend to leach their adhesive through over the time. I'm just going to open up some, get some light into here. Uh, is that a bad idea? Yeah, you guys will live the contrast. Camera out. I was going to buy myself a proper standoff driver, but uh, when I went when I went to check out, the postage was forty five dollars, and I thought, yeah, seven dollar standoff driver, forty five dollars shipping. I might have to pass on that one. So I'd go back to using my flathead driver and my the side of my finger. You junk. Make sure I get the rubber separator out. Oh wow, what are you stuck down for? Okay, good. Random bits of plastic. Well, this phone does work, or at least it seemed to work when they handed it to me. Let's hope it stays that way. Friday, I, Friday. I don't really want to have to deal with complications. Not that you really get a choice. If complications want to appear, they will appear. And here we go. We've got a rusted in corner screw, as usual. Yeah, that's a really nice rust up job. I think I can go to the bin. I'm not going to put that back into the chassis. Try find another one. That's also completely effed up. Put a rusted screw back in there, you're only doing a disservice to the next technician, which could well and truly be you. Now, when I was doing these a while ago, it was no trouble to me to leave these side screws in. I could always slot it in easy, but I seem to have lost my skill, so now I've got to completely remove at least one side so I don't botch up the screen. I have worked on this phone before, by the looks of it. The way I know that is that I've got um, a bit of looks like a bit of nail polish type stuff on the screws here for the volume keys, uh, volume buttons. And I can't imagine there's too many other techs out there using nail polish like that. Two forty volt old twin and earth ring circuits plus a couple of ten millimeter cables for shower and cooking. Ah, oh, right, yep. So you basically the same sort of stuff as what we've got here. What are we working? Yeah, forty five dollars ship. <laughs> I I did ask about it, and they said that well, no, that's um just a standard. Uh, once it sort of goes international, that a thing. It, yeah. Anyway, I'll just pick it up from another place like China. I did just want to support the store, but unfortunately there are certain limits that you don't want to go over. Hey Nate! Yeah, I really do like the iPhone 4, and I like the iPhone 4S as well. I, I enjoy them both. I mean, they are more tedious to work on in terms of the number of screws and parts, but their robustness really wins me over, particularly out here. I was having a look at the charge dock on this one, and it's going to need a little bit of tender loving care as well. 
Oh, let me burn my curtains. Ha! <laughs> Crap. Whoops. <laughs> Those curtains are like 15 years old and they're all UV crumbling away and stuff like that. Ah. God damn it. I bonded it down too well. Gotta get my gotta get my big heat gun. A while ago somebody did ask me what I consider to be one of the more important tools or useful tools in my workshop and for me it's this thing. Uh, this is my $19 two temperature one and a half kilowatt heat gun. I did not think I would need it as uh, use it as much as I did but by God I can't live without this thing. Oh look a silver shish just flew out of it. How nice. Uh, Nate, I'm in, in a town called Charters Towers, which is in North Queensland, and it's currently just past 12 o'clock. I'm about two and a half thousand kilometers north of Sydney. What is this breaking off for like that? Ah, it's hot too. Not sure what's holding this down. I think maybe that rust. Nope, yep, the tags are okay there. Come on, surely I didn't bond it down that well. Don't normally have problems getting these off, but nope, on a stream, so therefore I will. Something's, something has to have gotten in there and there we go. That was just really well stuck down. Nice one, Paul. Made your life harder. See poor Chris Long suffered today with his uh, RAM reader. It failed on him. That's not good. Okay, that. That's junk. Pile is chunked together, complete with this. Oh, it's alive! Sorry, guy. I do not like silverfish. He's now dead. It's probably half cremated anyway. Uh, QTech, I'm really enjoying the new uh, dual workstation setup. The way it's going is that uh, damn, I'm going to have to put that curtain back. I'm sorry. I can see that it's driving the camera insane. Uh, ow! There we go. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's really. It's working out well because I've got this low bench for doing all the electronics type work and then the high bench behind me for the stand-up PC work. It's a good combination. Uh, means I don't get deep vein thrombosis, thrombosis from sitting around all day. Uh, I'm really happy. I actually haven't even screwed the panels down onto the framework yet. The panels are heavy enough and jammed in enough that uh, I don't need any screws unless I decide to
grab on to this and then pull backwards and even that would be quite difficult. I'd have to get it at least halfway before it even tips over. Yeah, we're um, we're GMT plus ten here, so yeah, that's going to explain it. All right, I better get into this. Lest the person turn up and so, yo man, where's my phone not finished? I'll be in trouble. They'll probably send a raging kangaroo at me to beat me up. Oh, I can't do that. Where's my... I'm a little disorganized this morning, I do apologize. Oh, wait. No, I'm disorganized every day. That's how I spend my adult life. Disorganized. One day I'll become an adult. Oh, come on. How can you run out now? I can see a little bit in there. Oop, that'll do. Whoops. Normally I don't have any trouble with those uh, pump bottles, but again, I'm on stream and I'm on a rush, so therefore it will be difficult. I just like to clean up these frames. Let's get the scum out. Give it that little bit of a polished look. It doesn't take a lot of work. This is the um, this is the alcohol water mix. Like t anything between ten and twenty percent of alcohol works fine. Out oh, water, I should say. Just gets a lot of the human-related grime off very quickly. If you don't have the water in it, the grime will not come up. Just mistaking you for a slender man. Ha ha ha! Uh, I've been working hard to shed some kilos. I was um, a couple of months ago. It was about 99 kilos, which is about close to 220 pound. And I'm a I'm a 5'11", 180 centimeters. Take your pick. Uh, I didn't really like carrying the spare tire around and more importantly I didn't really like having to keep buying new clothes to fit the ever expanding waistline. So yeah I haven't really done anything radical but I'm down to about 88 now so I'm happy with that. I do want to push to get to about 85 and then I'll be good. need to do more exercise though. That's why I'm upset that there isn't, there are no squash courts here because it's one of the few sports that I will participate in. The only other one I'll gladly engage with is uh, paintball, skirmish, whatever you want to call it. I quite, quite rather enjoy that. Nothing like putting a paintball into somebody. Some sort of strange satisfaction. Uh, yeah, looks like I'm going to have to <clears throat> take these three out as well. What a pain. So I apologize I'm not following on chat so much, I just yeah, like I said, I want to get this out of here. Ah, oh, great. Where did that go? I lost the wash. Ah, there it is. Um, for those of you who are following on how things are going with the microscope, order and all that sort of thing. I'm pleased to report that the um, the donations from earlier last month, early last month, finally have been consolidated into AdSense. So I should see them now turn up in about a week in my bank account and then I'll be out of order. Finally. So it's a very long process. 
And I've got a what are you jammed on? Probably a plastic dag or something holding that down. One plastic dag less. Okay. Oh, Slender Man, Urban Legend. Right. Yep. No, I know the one. My wife watches enough of those sort of shows. Uh, I think there was a movie on it recently. Well, put out. It wasn't the greatest movie, but uh, you got the idea. Use BB guns too with the Wii Plastic Wheels. Oh, sort of like um, uh, airsoft type guns. They're pretty cool. I know there's a chap in uh, Norway or somewhere like that. Um, he's got a very, very good popular YouTube channel where he does all his airsoft stuff. It's pretty good stuff. That, though, unfortunately, is highly illegal in Australia. Uh, in fact, even just paintball is pretty damn difficult to do here in Australia. If you want to have a paintball gun, you have to have a full um, a full rifle license. There's no uh, minor exception or lower class license that you can obtain for things like airsoft or paintball. Nope, you've got to have a full license, which means you've got to be part of a club usually, or a farmer, or something like that. And if you're a farmer and stuff like that, what are you going to do with paintball? Nothing. So yeah, the, the rules in Australia are fairly strict. And that's um, due to the 1996 or was it no, uh, Port Arthur Massacre. Uh, since then, it's basically Australia is essentially, in terms of... Uh, its citizens, predominantly a gun-free zone. As I, I understand a bit, it is a little bit of a nuisance at times when you want to have some fun with things like airsoft or paintball. Ow. Uh, what kind of books does she write? Uh, she tends to... Oh, that dude, haven't seen him for a while. He's got some crazy blower set up on his V8 Toyota Land Cruiser. It's a pretty damn scary car when it flies past. It's just got that screaming banshee wailing sound like it's, it's captured demons into his engine bay and he lets them out to drive his car. It's, but it scares the crap out of me when he catches me off guard. I haven't seen him for a while. Or I should rather say I haven't heard him for a while. <laughs> Alright, I've got to go get the screws. Um, let's see. Oh, wow, Nicholas, that's brutal. Yeah, but that, that's what I mean about the whole law situation. Yeah, uh, She writes everything from romance fantasy to... Um, yeah, you know, it's... Uh, uh, it's all over the place. It's whatever she's in the mood for. Yeah, let's see. She doesn't write anything like Tom Clancy, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see. Right, got to get those screws. I'll be back.
Yeah, Greg, it's, uh, he's got a pretty crazy setup on there. I'm sort of half enraged by it and half um, enthralled by it. It's, yeah. he's, he must be having a bad day or something, and he wants to take it out by putting his foot down a bit around the place. You know, it goes. Sometimes you just feel like you need to get that rage out by being a bit of a lead foot. Charge ports seem better days. I'll get to that after. <laughs> Clectic. Okay, I'm going to have to Google that word. I sort of think I know what it means, but more than likely that means I don't know what it means. Damn it, I should have taken this dud battery bonding strips out before I put the screen in. I always worry I'm going to bruise the screen with the force used. Just have to be gentle. Other strange in things in life, I actually watched Silence of the Lambs for the first time last night, the whole movie that is, rather than just the appropriate bits. Yeah. Funny how you can go so long in life without s doing or engaging with certain things. I've seen the other two movies. Uh, Hannibal, and I can't remember what this other one was, the second one. Ah, diverse, right. Thank you, Robert. Gotta love it when you have holes in your... You've all got blind spots sort of type thing. Let's get this back in. Oop. Where did that? There it is. Just had to get the protection strip. Now, I don't know about those of you who have been doing the iPhone 4s before or whatever. Have you ever found that if you didn't put that edge protection strip in, it would kill your screens after a couple of weeks? Could have been coincidental, I'm not sure. But it did happen to me a few times, so I'm not wasn't sure maybe the PCB was scratching into the flex, but yeah, it didn't really look like there was any real damage. Okay, sim goes in, the sim goes in, and I turns it on. Oh, thank you, Paul. Very much appreciated that. I thought you were done with me with that regards. I mean, you've already done so much. By the way, I hope you're um, coping with your back there. Well, it looks like the antenna connector is on, but I can't quite get a good feel for it. You know, sometimes when you put down a connector and you just you don't feel it clip in as solidly as you expect. I find that a lot on the iPhone fives and sixes and stuff like that. If I don't get that positive clip in, I tend to have to redo it or you know, keep trying until I can hear it clip in. Oh 
am I going for time? Uh, in theory, this chap's going to turn up in about half hour. Uh, oops, sorry, at about seven minutes. Don't put that on. You've got to put the camera on. Another screw? Seriously? Uh, I think this one here, I think that is the 1.4 mil screw that goes into here. Let's have a look. And surprisingly, the, no, the receptacle is actually there. So I found that one. Normally that one just knocks straight off. As soon as you go near it, it jumps off the board and it says, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't know why, whether Apple didn't put enough bonding adhesive down or something, but uh, those of you who have worked on the iPhone 4 know exactly what I mean. In the morning as hell, when the pain kicks in, I'm good for the, oh, when the painkillers kick in, you're good for the rest of the day. Well, that's good. Yeah, I find mornings the most difficult for a few things here. Thankfully, it's not pain. Uh, I suppose I should put that 1.4 in. Fine, when I put this one back in, I've got to hold that support with a pair of tweezers and then don't even tighten it up so much. It just stops moving with the lightest of touch, you're done. Push it any further, you break it off. Still, not many people bothering to get their iPhone 4s replaced anymore. The only reason they do that around here is because they've got good reception qualities and when you're living out in the rural zones that is slightly important. Hey TCRS, I need a map for all those, got a four with screws in a box, oh, ah, Paul, yeah, I really hope they can do something for you long term. Or even if you say, as you said, I think it was about a six-month um, fix-up. Just so you can get on with some part of your life. I mean, that's just brutal. Uh, I'm not screwing this down yet. I want to actually check that it boots. Uh, we've got a boot. I don't know why I sound surprised. I'm just gonna go get my charge port clean tool. I'll find one of them around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. <sighs> All right, charge port clean tool, wooden toothpick. That's been chamfered out. Not so bad on the iPhone on the 30 pin set, but certainly on the lightning port, you've got to really shave it back so it will fit in there. Yeah. I had the one the other day, and it was a single grain of sand, just yeah, a little bit of beach sand or something like that, and it was crusted in or embedded in with uh, lint covering over it. So the person had been going along for a while and it was working just well enough but then I think the lint built up too much and eventually it just sort of no longer made appropriate contact. Those jobs I like because they're like they're like the JTAG connector type job. And it's real simple to fix them up and you still get a payout. Okay, 
that feels good. Okay, home button works, everything. Okay, the ringer switch is a little, the mute switch is a little dirty, but that's okay. Touch works, beautiful. Camera works, marvelous. Okay, shut this down and close it up. And I have got two minutes left, which will give me just enough time to maybe write up the invoice. I'll tell you what, PD, I'm uh, Paul. I'm really looking forward to getting this microscope finally here. Can't believe it's been two months almost. I uh, better put the battery strips in there. Great, I need an iPhone 4 battery strip. Haven't seen one of those in a while. I'll be back. Alrighty, I'm pretty sure this is the right one, either that or it's a, what do you, no, other way around, yeah, you're a genuine full one, hm, nice, usually what happens is when I order these, I get shipped something that looks similar, but is not the right pattern, so they'll give me a 4S one or a 5, so it's not the right one you idiots. <laughs> It's a bit frustrating when you buy stuff from a supplier and they're supposed to know their goods and they send you stuff that isn't what you're after. I think one of the more amusing ones I had was I ordered an iPhone 5 screen and it looked all normal and everything. I went to go put it together and the home button wouldn't fit on it. I thought, like, what's going on here? You know, the screws seem strange or whatever. And it turns out it was an iPhone 5 assembly, LED uh, display assembly, but they'd embedded it with a um, iPhone 5S plastic holder frame. So that's why the screws wouldn't line up for the home button because on a 4S, they're up, on a 5S, they're offset, whereas on a 5, they're both in the same uh, horizontal line. That one threw me for a bit. Okay, come on. Let's get you to sit in. Good. I'll try to spend some time this weekend to do my uh, battery tester board revision 2, or I really should say prototype 2, because it's not going to be a revision, it's going to be a complete rewrite. But I'll also do the daughter boards, because at least once I've got the daughter boards, I can... Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Uh, once I've got the daughter boards, I can use my existing model aircraft chargers to do the same process of the charge discharge cycle. The only downside is I'm not able to um, I'm not able to get the gas gauge information or anything like that. But at least it will still give me what I really care about and that is how many milliamp hour are going in and how many milliamp hour am I able to get out. 
is the end of the day. That's what matters. And more specifically, how well does it behave under load? There's not much point having a battery that says it's got a good voltage when you're not on, don't have a load on it. And as soon as you ask for one amp out of it, it goes all snowflakey on you and just drops the voltage by a volt or so. Uh, so the tester will have multiple loads in it, uh, load resistors, and then I can program it to do a particular current demand or something like that. Like, you know, maybe I want to test at 250, 500, 1 amp and 2 amp type loads. They really shouldn't have any problem. If you've got one of these batteries collapsing on you, collapsing the voltage at 2 amp load, then you've got some serious problems because these batteries are 1.5, 2 amp hour capacity. So asking it to deliver uh, 1C, well, yeah, that's a low amperage. And if it fails, then it's like, yeah, you're not a very good battery. Can't get over the SIM tray thing. Why didn't they put a... They obviously didn't have a uh, suitable tool to push that out. Oh, well, bit of a feature for them, I guess. I might have one of them lying around here. Let's see if I can find one of my spare parts. Then downside is the IEMI, oh, good customer, oh, he's turned up, all right, thanks, I'll be back.
streaming, by the way. And how many dozen people did I lose? Uh, Greg, yes, I track the IMIs of all the phones I do work on, which I find to be quite essential. I've had too many people try to pull Swifties on me. And, you know, just trying to substitute parts themselves to get free parts out of me or something like that. Ah, oh, great. Now, I can't seem to get this out properly. Man, that's seriously mangled on the inside. Didn't realize it was that bad. To, I can't um, unlock this phone, I haven't got a pin code, so I'll just get their serial number and IMI off the tray. They keep you mobile? Alright, let's see what other chat I missed. Uh, looks like the customer's turned up. Okay, I'll be back.
can't believe it. There's 15 people still here. That's hilarious. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I'm back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, you know, you can't just drop customers. I'll have to go deal with it. Okay. Trying to put all this stuff in the trash. Don't need. And would you believe it? I got another iPhone 4. I mean, how is that? That's the joys of the universe. The number of times that you get these bursts of repairs of the same device. And I've also got a lovely Toshiba L500 that I need to fix up. Uh, that's just going to be, it's just going to be a backup, clean up sort of thing. Click dislike, I get two dislikes now. I don't understand that. And of course, you know, if people completely dislike the stream, well, there's always the power of departing. Alright, well, I'm actually finished up here. I need to go do some administration work, some tax paperwork, and then I can get back to doing these other jobs. So I might stream that later. In the meantime, I've got to catch up whatever else I've got to get done today. Uh, this was a this is a drop in that I wasn't scheduled for. Um, I'm happy to take on the work, but it's uh, I've still got to make sure I do my other duties for the day. Uh, and we're going on now nearly an hour. So I think everybody should be fairly bored. Alright. Okay. I may stream later today. I'm not sure. But in the meantime, go about whatever you're doing. Thank you all for watching. Sorry about the long delays. I'll probably actually trim this video before I put it up onto YouTube as a publicly available video. And uh, who knows, maybe we might get a Jessa or Jason or Lewis stream and they'll entertain us in the meantime. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.